Now the other way that we can have a look at comparing the images is to go to overlay classification and what we'll do here is bring up the interactive class tool and what we can do is one by one select the classes and overlay them over our original input image. So as I tick class one on all the red areas in the image are shown and I can go through and tick, tick on, tick off any of these classes and the idea is to, to use this to help you understand where the classes are in the image and to try and get a better idea of exactly the features that they're representing. Once you think you've got a pretty good idea of the features that these classes are representing, um, it's up to you to go up to options and edit class colours class names. And it's quite simply a matter of going through and assigning names to these individual classes. So if we clicked on class 1 for example, which was that red area that came up over here, we might decide to call that area deep water. And if we click OK on that, we'll now see that this area is called deep water here, um, even though the colour the color is still red. You can also change the colours that have been assigned to, to the individual classes using that class colour name tool. So for example, perhaps you actually want that deep water area to be some form of a blue. We might do that. But just be careful also if there's already another blue that's in the image that you don't get confused.